representing thousands of education workers, is holding a media availability right now after reaching a tentative deal with the province. Let's listen. For 171 days, we've been fighting to improve the wages, working conditions of our members, and to improve the services students rely on in our schools. Today, we've reached a tentative agreement with the provincial government and the Council of Trustees Associations. Workers will be in schools tomorrow and there will not be a strike. From the outset, workers have been the center of this movement. The central bargaining team has taken our lead from workers. We have done our absolute best to represent workers' needs and interest. And we have built worker capacity to organize and fight for what is just and for what is needed. We will continue to do that now, bringing the tentative agreement back to the frontline workers for the ratification vote. As required, the Central Bargaining Committee will recommend members accept the agreement during the ratification vote. We expect that the vote will begin on Thursday and it will be completed by next weekend. I want to speak directly to the workers, to the educational assistants, the library workers, custodians, maintenance, trades, early childhood educators, secretaries, library workers, IT, so many more, all of whom keep our schools running, who keep our school students safe, and who make sure that every single child has the opportunity to learn. You gave the bargaining team a hefty assignment, achieving real wage gains, improving working conditions, and enhancing the services our students need and our parents rely on. You poured your energy into this fight. You organized, you made phone calls, you built solidarity, and you deserve so much more. I'm incredibly proud of the work that you have done, and now it's your turn to make your voice heard by the government and school boards with the ratification vote. To parents, as a mom, I'm glad your children will remain in school tomorrow and that they won't suffer the inequities of the province's proposed online learning program. The entire Central Bargaining Committee wishes we could have moved the government to make the investments in public education that you not only wanted, but that you needed and that your children deserve. That fight does not end with one setback. We will keep representing your needs and we will keep fighting for you and with you. We will keep pushing for the type of supportive, safe and enriching schools and classes that all children deserve. We do not take your solidarity for granted. And I wanna thank you on behalf of every one of the 55,000 frontline education workers in Ontario. We will continue to be there for your children to the absolute best of our abilities. I will now open it for questions.